Hello, my name is Ian Goodwin. I'm doing a presentation on yellow journalism for my interpersonal communications class. Um, yellow journalism is um, a sens sensationalist bias story that newspapers present as an objectional truth. Uh, it's supposed to affect emotionally and um, pull you into something and it may not always be true. Some examples are like a headline, alien stealing neighborhood puppies. It's bold, it sticks out, it brings attention to the article. Yellow journalism was all started in New York in 1896 when two big publishers, the biggest publishers of New York, Joseph Pitzler and William Hearst, um, they were rival publishers. Um, the the it all started when um, um, Hertz tried to take tried to hire on the author, which was Richard Alcult, um from um, Pulitzer. Uh, he was the author of the Yellow Kid. The Yellow Kid was a um, comic book strip character that. Um, was big for the Pulitzer Company, and this kid later became known as the Yellow Kid because he was associated with yellow journalism whenever yellow journalism came about. Um, the biggest um, start of yellow journalism was the Spanish and American War. Um, this is about the time when um, yellow when the two um, publishers were fighting, going back and forth, um, was when the U.S. Maine was sunk. Um, the, um, there was many, many articles published by these two, um, these two publishers that were all about different plots and why it sunk. Um, this is where a lot of yellow journalism came about with all of all of these articles going around. It shifted the emotions of the war and changed the perspective of the citizens of um, the United States. Um, some examples of yellow journalism throughout history is um, some of these articles here. Um, the Titanic um, one where it's Titanic passengers all rescued. It's bold, it's emotional, but it's false because Obviously, not all passengers were rescued in the Titanic. We know that now, but they didn't back then. Um, then you have a, the newspaper up top, which is about the main, um, the main um, USS Maine, and then this article about the boy inhaling a tuba. Today, um, yellow journalism is around. It's big, but it's now known more as fake news. Um, it is a web it is more used as a weapon of soft power um it brings in the pub it can be used to um frame and um publicly shame people or opponents that you're fighting against um and countries use it a lot um to make other countries look worse or make them um look better um It'll make them people support make it'll try to make people support them more, um, and a lot of big news companies use this as clickbait. Um, just try to um, pull people in scandalism. Um, just trying to make everything seem more pleasing, when in all reality it is all fake. So, and then here's all here's all my sources for it. Um, Thank you for your time.